When the opportunity arose for us to do an exhibition of visual art from the Bill T. Jones Arnie Zane Dance Company dances, I was really excited personally because I have been a fan for a very, very long time of Bill T. Jones's work and I've seen it over the years. It's a really brilliant celebration of 30 years of this transcendent dance company. I know that many people will know how it feels to be a fan of someone and then to sort of finally meet that person, but I've actually had the privilege of going, um, not only meeting Bill T. Jones, but um, the opportunity to work very closely with Bill T. and his partner, Bjorn Amelon, on this exhibition project. It was Bill who encouraged me as he saw things, drafts and things that I was thinking about and he gave me the courage to actually create something and stand by it. For instance, the set for Verbum, which consists of three large uh, aluminum sculptures, the shape of those three sculptures is actually the outline of sculptures that I make that have nothing to do with the piece. So this oscillation between uh, the work artists create for their own purpose and the work that is used by the dance company is something that I find very interesting. I can also say that Keith Haring had a major influence on me uh, back in the er very early 80s when I was beginning to go to New York. His whole approach and what was happening, the conflation of levels of art, street art, high art, uh, were very, very moving personally. So I have a particular affection for the piece of his that is hanging in the show here, which is Garden of Radio Delight from uh, Secret Pasture. Black-eyed Susans uh, are a flower, which is very common after the rainy season in the summer in uh, New Mexico. Something about the music and then the energy of Bill's choreography inspired me to create this tongue-in-cheek title, Black Susan, uh, which to, co tries to combine the naivete of the flower with an ominous and some almost carnivorous character. Designing sets happened in an, as a surprise to me. And having tasted it, then we began a collaboration that has lasted until now. If you think about it, when we go to see a dance on a presidium stage, we're far away from the actual props. And um, it's rare to have the opportunity to actually get really close up to them. These are the artists that shaped me, that shaped my artistic being. They're the reason why I'm a curator. And, and so opening that up to audiences of every kind is such a great privilege. This is one way to tell the story of the company. It's through these objects. Thank you.